We're coming for you, Andy. We're coming for you, Andy. Anyone hurts someone to have my kids? I would literally ride him all night. Yeah, that's a nice hoodie. It's a, it's a fucking Philly thing, dickhead. This is Day by Day TV. We're reporting live from Xfinity Live here in Pennsylvania, the heart of the shit that's going down tonight in Super Bowl 57. I'm your host, Day Day, and this is Many Mans, and I'm coming through with the See It Through podcast mix, guys. We're going to bring the passion of the Philadelphia Eagle fan base to you. Everybody says that we're too passionate, we're too overly aggressive, whatever it is. But all the fact of the matter is, is that we go hard about the birds. So make sure you guys stay tuned, so we're going to ask the questions that you want to hear. We are going to be all over Philadelphia today, baby. Let's go. Go birds! All right, we're recording live from Xfinity Live. I'm right here with Dave. Dave, how long have you been an Eagles fan? Ah, uh, for, uh, let's see, I'm 37, so 37 years. Yeah, he came out of Eagles, yeah. Eagle, so I was ready to ask. There you go. What made you become an Eagles fan to begin with? Uh, by Randall Cunningham when I was a kid. Was Randall kid. Cunningham. Yep, oh yeah. All right, speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and ask you something, all right? You got to pick one between the three. Okay. One quarterback to choose. Who are you choosing? Randall Cunningham, Michael Vick. Rob Jaworski or Jalen Hurts? I got to say Hurts for tonight, but but uh, let's go with Cunningham. Cunningham. We'll go with Cunningham. For the sake of the reason he's being an Eagles fan, we're going with Cunningham. All right, I got another question for you. All right. If you can go back in time and erase one event from happening, what are you choosing? Us hiring Chip Kelly, the Alshon Jeffrey drop against the Saints, us drafting Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson. What are you choosing? Rager. Absolutely, Rager. I want Jefferson. So you would like Jefferson? Yeah, absolutely. I like that answer. All right. <laughs> My last final question for you. This Super Bowl, Super Bowl 57, they're predicting it's going to be a close one, high scoring, close game. How do you see the game going? I think it's going to be Eagles blowout, baby. By how many points? At least two touchdowns. At least two tutties. All right. So we got the Eagles winning by 14 points at least by my man right here. What's your name again? Dave. Dave, reporting live from Xfinity Live. We are reporting live here outside of Xfinity Live. I got some beautiful ladies with us. You guys are Eagles fans. How long have you guys been Eagles fans? Since I was born. Yeah. Born and raised Eagles fan. Born from born. Okay. So give me your top three attractive Eagles players of all time. Ooh. Who was your three? Slay, okay. Hertz, Kels. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Same order? Same all order. All right, so let me get a fuck, Mary kill of those three. Oh. Okay. Kill Slay. Damn. Mary Hertz. Okay. Fuck Kels. Fuck oh. all of them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no birds. No birds. Huh? Jalen Hurts, someone to have my kids. I would literally ride him all night. All night? All night. What about in the morning? Even in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know. Jalen, you got some supporters out here. Uh -huh. You ready? Let's, first, let's cheers to it. Philly, Philly. <laughs> Philly, Philly. All right, so I'm out here outside of Xfinity Live, joined with Brett. 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 <laughs> I see you. I see you're wearing a Brandon Graham jersey. Let me ask you: Name your favorite top three defensive players for the Philadelphia Eagles of all time. Reggie White. Never got to see him play. One. Brandon Graham. Two. Uh, Cox. Three. God damn Fletcher. it. That's it. That's it. I That's like it. Rat. All right, Brett. I'm gonna ask you a personal question. Let's go. Following the Super Bowl championship and Super Bowl MVP of Nick Foles, we unanimously named him Big Nick Nick. Yeah. Does Nick Sirianni take over the name of Big Dick Nick now that he's in the Super Bowl? <laughs> no, I don't think he does. I don't think he does. I, I, he's probably got a nice piece on him. He's Nick from South Philly. He's, 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 South Philly. he's Italian. I, he's Italian. He, stallion. He might have a nice piece on him. Uh, but, I, you know, I don't, I don't think we can just crown him Big Dick Nick. So Nick Foles still keeps the dick, big Dick so. Nick title. I think so for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, last sure. question before we get out of here. Let me get your Super Bowl final score prediction. Yeah, 
Uh, it's going to be 34-28 Eagles. Let's go. We're coming for you, Andy. We're coming for you, Andy. You're already here live from Xfinity Live. Let's go. So, we are here live in front of Xfinity Live. I'm joined by Vinny. Vinny, how long have you been an Eagles fan? I bleed green, brother. Bleed green. What made you become an Eagles fan in the first place? When I was a boy, I watched Donovan McNabb. It's Syracuse. That's it. I'm from Pittsburgh. I'm not even from here, but I bleed green. So, McNabb at Syracuse is what did it? Dog. All right. So, we're, we're, we're anticipating Super Bowl 57. They're saying it's going to be a close game. How do you see the game going? The defense wins it. Give me a defensive touchdown. Already betted on the FanDuel, brother. Defensive study. Minus uh, 7.5 or 9, somewhere around there. I already took Eagles minus 9.5. Minus nine and a half. I like it. Hey, it, to me. it takes big balls to make that happen. All right, so let me get the final score prediction. For me, 31-21, birds. All right, I respect it. All right, now, Vinny, we got a question for you. So let me get your prediction for Super Bowl MVP. Hassan Reddick. Hassan Reddick. I put 30 on that. I, like ah, it. I feel that. I feel that. I put 25, but I respect it. I like it. All right, I got one more question for you, Vinny. Rihanna's halftime performance. Are you looking forward to it? Of course. She's a babe. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> Is that your lady? No, 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 no. Okay. No. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> dilly, dilly, Philly, Philly. We are joined live in front of Xfinity Live. I am joined by... Ebby the Snoop Kid. Ebby the Snoop Kid. Ebby the Snoop Kid in front of Xfinity Live. Yes, sir. First off, let me ask you. It's Super Bowl 57. We're all excited to be here. How long have you been a Philadelphia Eagles fan? Since I can remember. Since you can remember. Since what? Can remember. What made you become an Eagles fan? All my family was Philly fans. All right. Now let me ask you. Your favorite all-time Eagle player, who do you got? Mike Vick, number seven. I love it. Seven. I seven. love it. Greatest QB of all time, bro. Greatest QB of all time. I believe so is too, my friend. Since you named Michael Vick, let me ask you something. The Eagles are prestigious for starting black quarterbacks in the NFL. Can you name five? Black quarterbacks to start for the Philadelphia Eagles. Damn. Cunningham, McNabb, Mike Vick, Jalen Hurts. Oh, I can get four. One more, baby. You got it. Four, one more. Everybody has four. You got uh, one more in bro. you. We got Cunningham, McNabb. I'll give you a hint. Dream team. Steve Young. Bet Young. Vince Young, Vince Young, I know Vince Young. We'll give it to him. 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 I forgot he was a. We'll give it to you. All right, Super Super Bowl. Yeah, that's a nice hoodie. It's a Philly yeah. thing, baby. It is a fucking Philly, Philly thing, dickhead. We are joined live in front of Xfinity Live with Jordan. Jordan, I have one question for you. Right. Fuck Mary Kill. Do you know how that works? I do. I'm gonna I name do. three. Yeah. Con I'm gonna name three characters. You have to All choose right. one to fuck, All one right. to marry, and one to kill. Are you ready? Fuck Mary Kill. Super Bowl 57 edition. Nick Sirianni, Andy Reid, and Doug Peterson. Jeez, look, I'm killing Andy Reid because I'm still bitter. I'm going to fuck Sirianni. He kind of cute, though, for a white boy. All right, Sirianni. There you go. <laughs> so that means you're going to marry Doug, Doug Peterson. Doug E.P. Oh, oh, no. Boo. Boo. Well, unfortunately, the Philadelphia Eagles fell short of Super Bowl 57. Right now, we're on a SEPTA northbound. We're filled with sorrow and uh, uh, hurt and dignity and pride. But nonetheless, it's still Bird Gang. It's still Fly Eagles Fly. Right now, I'm joined by... My name is Alex. We're now joined by Alex. Alex and anybody else that would like to chime in, how do you feel about the outcome of the game? Not as far as I know we're all hurt, but just how do you feel as far as how the offense did, the defense did? What do you think could have happened different for us to turn out with a victory? I think if they may, if they had scored more points, they probably would have won. That's a good point. What's your name, fella? My name is Mr. B. Muslim. Mr. B. Muslim? Yeah, that's Mr. B. Muslim. What's your synopsis on the game? What do you think could have done different to uh, give us the victor? Well, our defense didn't perform that well against their offense. I honestly think uh, 
in the third quarter, we should have won for the touchdown instead of just going for the field goal. That might have changed the morale of the opponent yeah. and, and changed the outcome of the game a whole lot. But, hey, you know, I had fun. It was a roller coaster ride. I ain't, it for, is what it is. For man. sure. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think that was a fair call on a holding on Der uh, James Bradbury and end zone? Not at all. It's not touch football. It's not Pop Warner. This, 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 this. Come on, man. They, they've been real petty. Hey, it's over with now. But I'm still a Philly fan for life. Bird game for life. Win, lose, or draw. That's the point of the game. Not Can just we one season. It's the whole shebang, you know, from the beginning. Absolutely. All right. I'm, I'm hurt, too, but I think this will lift up my morale along with everybody else. Can we get a Eagle? Can we get an E-A-G-L-E-S chant on three, two, one, go. E-A-G-L-E-S Eagles! Get it right here. And that's how the fuck we do it. And my man's right here got something to say. What you got to say? Uh, this isn't on the game, but uh, as an economics and a financial advisor, I would like to think uh, a little conspiracy. I'm talking about a rigged World Series. I'm talking about them thinking the economy is going to blow up because we're doing too good. I think they might have rigged it because they thought the economy would have exploded, both the World Series and the fucking Super Bowl, honestly. It doesn't make sense either of those were lost. It was in the script. It was in the script. It's in the script. You heard it, you heard it live. It was in the script. This is Day Day with Day by Day TV reporting out. So we are joined live on 15th Street, South Philly. We in the building. Unfortunately, the Eagles came up short, but nonetheless, we're going to dive they into. They come up short. Okay. Speak on it. We didn't come up short, but what happened? We had an L. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to learn from that L. Uh -huh. We're going to dominate from that L, and right. it is what it is. Yeah. It is um, you know what I mean? It wasn't a blowout. It was 35 to 35 up until the last second. We did our thing, and I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. I love the spirit. I'm not mad at all. So are we going? Our boys played. Are we going we back did what next we year? To do. Are we going back next year? Every year, the past last year we did the playoffs. Yeah. This year we did the playoffs and championships. So what makes you think we're not going to make it next year to the playoffs and championships? I believe we Hello. will. Hello. Facts. Hello. She talking. You lifted my energy just. I'm just she saying, talking. Like she talking. Mean? You lifted my energy. We, this time and, I and, like, and like the players always say, we got work to do. So who's your favorite player on the Eagles right now? Um, I love Josh Sweat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, right there. I love Josh Sweat. Uh -huh. Um, I love AJ Brown, best friend, go best friend. Yeah. Okay. That, that Jelly Hurts best friend, and I love Hassan Riddick. Hassan is a I beast. feel like um, even with the NFL, I, no, and he's he's also played for Temple. Yeah. Um, let's 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 speak about it. So I feel like in the NFL honors, they did not give him credit. I was mad about that. Yeah, um, he, he had better numbers than Michael Parsons. And Nick Bosa. Yeah, he had better and numbers. And Chris Jones. Yeah, he had But he numbers. was not a candidate in the NFL honors. So no. since we're recording this, that's something that needs to be talked about. So do you talk think that just it. goes Let's with talk the, about it. Do you just think that goes with the stigma of Philadelphia in general? Is the underdog slept on, nobody gives Philadelphia credit when it Correct. comes to sports? I do. All right. I did. Yeah. And that's why I like Jalen Hurts as our quarterback because they stuck with him too. He was in Alabama yeah, right. and then he moved to Oklahoma. Right. He beat Purdy, yeah. you know what I mean, when he played in college. Yeah. And then now he is our franchise quarterback. I'm going to talk with you, Mike. Oh, he's going to get that contract. He's going to get sure. the contract. The contract's yeah. going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, for me, I, I'm not mad. Yeah. Well, we're going to be back next year, like you said. What's your name again? Sade. Sade. Just Sade. like that. Day, day.